all right guys welcome back to another episode of our racing game tutorial this is the second part i think of but it's like the fourth part in the introduction to unity series so in this one we're gonna have to deal with uh getting a car in the scene and also getting uh, a race opponent in the scene as well so what we're gonna be using for this is the unity standard assets so if you go to your unity store which you can just use right here it's the same thing you can just click here and it will load so we can do that and say uh standard assets this pack right here the standard assets for 2018 don't worry about the year it works on 2019 as well so you can uh it will say Im Im download and then it will tell you to import it so you just download it and import it i already have it imported so download that then the other one i don't want to use this i want it you should download this from the asset store the terrain textures pack it's free as of this recording it's free so you should get it and you use it to paint some of your textures then we also have to get the vehicle physics pro because we don't want to have to make the vehicle physics ourselves some people have already made them so we're just gonna use them so it's also free so there's no need for you to pay for it just visit the unity asset store um, download the vehicle physics pro and then you'll be yeah you'll be where we are right now i'm gonna leave all the links in the description below to these things in case uh, or some of you want just to use links and get to them quickly i'll use the links but you should learn how to navigate the asset store because it's going to be very important for this series all right so let's get to it so right now i have the terrain where i left off but i've only painted uh, a path round um round the terrain where we we left off you can just do that by paint texture then uh adding a layer here then once you add the layer select the a dirt layer that you must get from the terrain textures pack or any other layer that's different from the the grass texture that we have there um select the size you want for me i used 30 for this 30 but i was also painting it out a bit more then just paint it round and round like that just paint it like that and take it around the whole the whole scene so you can hold if you're using a mouse it's better to use a mouse like an actual mouse not the touchpad for this because it's easier to navigate the 3d environment so if you're not using a mouse you better use a mouse it's much easier then you can just hold the scroll wheel to pan around like that you just hold the scroll wheel down and it will pan around like that then zoom in and out using the scroll wheel then right click to uh look around so hold the right mouse button and then yeah that's how you navigate around the the 3d space okay so now if you are done with um making this uh truck right here we're gonna get into beautifying the whole thing we're not gonna be using this truck but right now we just want to get the physics down then i'm gonna show you guys how to import real world maps and then we're gonna create real roads and stuff like that to make the game look pretty but for now let's make sure that it's working so if you've created this simple track here we're gonna go to the uh, standard assets in your assets folder once you've imported the standard assets to the project it will come right there standard assets open it uh, vehicles car prefabs now um a question might be posed what is a prefab so a prefab is just uh, a gum of a game object that allows you to create um uh or, and store an asset with all its properties so it will allow you to store any asset with all its properties so if we created a a character controller here with 
um, or a character with a character controller script rather than us having to place that character control the ruler script every time we'll just uh, save that character as a prefab and we'll be able to move it around uh, different projects so that's what a prefab is it just allows you to store an asset with all its properties so in the prefabs folder of the car we've got this car which we won't be using because uh, we're going to use a much more advanced one for ourselves but for the AI we're going to use uh, the standard assets AI car so we're going to place that car right there beautiful then we're going to make it face the right direction nice rotate it on the Y if you don't know how to do that just use the transform or just use the tool bar that I showed you last time rotate it on the Y then once it's facing the right direction we're going to place a camera now i've deleted my main camera for you guys you should have your main camera use that camera and then uh the you should use the your main camera if you have it don't delete it it's better than using this camera we just want to make sure that the uh waypoint based uh car or the ai car is moving before we place our car so once you've placed that camera i'm just gonna change this to main camera here uh yeah let's do that then this is what we have good so we're not driving this car this car is the ai car now the ai car if we hit play right now it's gonna be moving in circles right see so it's gonna be moving in circles like that now we don't want that we do not want it to be moving in circles we want it to follow our path that we've created here so here's how we're going to do that we're going to create uh, let's just minimize that we're going to create an empty game object here and then we're going to call this uh the waypoint secured now i'm going to show you guys how to make uh, a waypoint uh using a script of our own in another video but for this one we're going to use the standard asset script because it's very easy for beginners to get uh, the feel of how this is because as a beginner you don't want to spend a lot of time coding we're going to code other things of course like uh the positions and the laps and stuff we're going to code all that but for stuff like this we're not going to code it for now but i'm going to show you how to code a waypoint of your own so once we have that selected we're going to add a script to it and i've already typed it here the waypoint secured script we're going to add that all right now it's got no children in it this waypoint secured so we're gonna create cubes inside so we're gonna create 3d object a cube inside it let's drag that up drag it up right there all right it's in a good position right there a very good position right there then so once this cube is selected control d to duplicate it move that cube uh, I'm gonna move it somewhere you can put as many as you like uh, for accuracy sake but I'm not gonna put so many I'm just gonna put a few so we're gonna move it there and then duplicate that cube put it around the corner here uh, yep duplicate that one take it straight down there in the middle duplicate that one put it around there that's a good place duplicate that take it down this way uh, around there okay let's put it here because we've got this this little turn here duplicate that and put it somewhere there good duplicate that put it there let's just move closer to it uh, see we have it underground we don't want that uh, let's drag it up drag it up move it this way bring it there nice we want it right on our truck we don't want it anywhere else we want it right on our truck right there so we've got this cube here so we're going to duplicate that one bring it relatively in the middle there duplicate that one bring it there yeah that looks pretty good i think 
Um, yeah, but for you guys, you can make it as accurate as you want. And uh, yeah, for me, I think this will do. Once we have our cubes uh, placed like that, what we're going to do now is come back to here where we placed the waypoint circuit script and then assign using all child objects. You're going to click this button here. Once you click the button, see what happens? Now, for me, in my case, it has um, it has created a circuit uh, correctly. For some of you, some of these numbers might come, maybe nine might be here. All you do is you use these arrows here. So if a number is, if the numbers are not following it themselves, so you can just move it. For instance, let me just show you. If nine was somewhere like there, uh, let's just drop eight. You see what has happened here? If nine is above eight, all you just do is come to nine, the down arrow button, click it, and yeah, let nine be the last one, and then your circuit is created, and you can see it with the gizmo there. So, yeah, this is a, this is a good looking circuit right here. It's a good looking circuit. So what we're gonna do now is come to the waypoint based car, and then scroll down. It has got so many scripts, so it has got the rigid body, which is really important because you cannot have um, uh, this type of game of just like uh, without a character without a rigid body. Rigid bodies, we're gonna get into them later when we're creating a different game. For this one, just know rigid bodies are important. So it's got its rigid body, it's got the car controller script. This comes with uh, the unity standard assets. Then it's got so many things here, which we're gonna get into when we're making a much more intermediate um, tutorial. For beginners, just for now, leave them as is. I'll just tell you that full talk over all wheels is like the total speed of the car. So the higher this number is, the faster it goes. Then you've got the AI control script, which, it, as it says, it's the AI control script. And in the after that, we've got the waypoint progress, and we've got the car audio. The car audio is acceleration, deceleration de uh, sounds. So that's just leave it as is for now. I'm gonna show you how to get uh, real uh, engine sounds into the game um, later. For now, we just want to make sure everything is working. So in the waypoint progress tracker script here, you've got the circuit, which is got uh, none here. So what we're gonna do is drag this circuit where we placed the script. Remember the circuit where you placed the script, you're gonna drag this into that. You're gonna drag it into this slot right here, right? And then it's gonna be like that. Then you have now this part, the target. Now the waypoint based car comes with when you open it, when you open it down like that, it comes with uh, helpers. This object here, click on it, and then you've got the camera focus point and the waypoint target object. This is what we need: the waypoint target object. So we're gonna drag that under the target there, right? So that means that the waypoint car will follow that waypoint target object. And that waypoint target object is going is uh, uh, also going to be following this right here, our uh, waypoint circuit. So when we hit play, now we've placed the camera on the waypoint uh, car. When we hit play, you see what happens? It's not moving in circles anymore. It's, it's now following the, uh, the circuit, but we've hit a cube now that's pretty simple the cubes have got colliders right if you remember i talked about colliders last time if they are hit as triggers which will come into if we are using our own script would use a tracker to just uh be a trigger where the car would go through it and then the tracker would jump from cube to cube like that but for now we don't want this to even be there the collider shouldn't be there we don't want the cut collide with the cubes we just want the cubes to be there as a way of creating that waypoint, uh, that circuit. So when we hit play again now, it should work fine. Yep, and there we go, it's gone. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's just make sure that it goes full circle of, of the circuit with no problems. There we go, it's moving on its own nice 
Nice, 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 nice. So we're making some real good progress right now. You can see that this waypoint uh, based car is is doing exactly what I wanted to do. It's going around in circles of this circuit right here. So now let's add our car, right? So for our car, we, we could use this car and just drive it. Simple as that. But we want it to be a bit more, you know, um, realistic. That's where the Vehicle Physics Pro asset comes in now. So we're going to get this Vehicle Physics Pro. If you come to your assets, after you've imported it, it should show up here. Open it then open your scenes right open your scenes then under scenes you've got this sport uh this sport could de demo right here open the this save your save your current scene because we don't redo everything save it and then open that scene and that scene will open this over here all right as long as i can move around uh anytime now okay all right all right come on anytime good okay so it'll give you this scene here it's a good little scene to test this whole thing out but i'm not gonna i'm gonna show you how it works because it works really good it's a very good asset like it's actually surprising that this asset is free it's a really good asset a really good asset it comes with this car here I'm going to show you how to put your own cars, but for today's is to make sure that this whole thing is working. Then we're going to do some environment, environment work and also do some uh, more cars. So when you hit start, it tells you to press K to start the car. Then you can press C to change your camera and then you can drive it, right? Uh, like that. For me right now, I don't know why it's uh, sticking to turning. And spacebar is like no more handbrake. Uh, for you guys, it should be fine. For me, it has got some issue, but that's no problem. We're gonna just work with it as is. So it's a very good asset, as you can see. A very, very good asset. So let's stop that. Then now what we're gonna do here, we need this car. So we're gonna get the car, right? We're gonna get the camera controller. We're gonna, let's do this. Let's create an empty game object here so that we just get them all. Then we're just gonna call it um, player car, right? We're gonna get the car, get the camera controller, get the dashboard canvas and get the UI canvas. I'm gonna talk about those a bit more in the next episode for now, just get them. Then you see what we've done here, right? Now, if you remember, I talked about prefabs at the beginning of this uh, episode. So now we're going to create this and make this a prefab. So let's go back here and then let's create a new folder here. We need our folders to be nice and neat and call these cars, right? Because that's where we're going to put all our cars. We're going to get some prefab um, cars. And then we're going to use this same car to, to make those cars move around. So we're going to place this here. And it creates a prefab and you can see it just changed here to blue meaning that it's now a prefab so what do we do now we go back to our initial scene the scene that's our game scene we should change the name from from sample scene to something else but for now let's just yeah let's use it as is so we're gonna come here all right and then we're gonna go to the car waypoint best right there so now we're gonna come here and get in in cars, right? And the cars, we're gonna get this car and place it there. Now, there it is. So we're gonna move it like that. Place it down like that. Move it that way. Place it down. We're gonna put our car slightly ahead because we still have to do the whole pressing of the engine button for it to start but it's quite fast so it's fine it's, it's quite a fast car we're gonna change that uh to match the speed of this car here so once we've done that right 
when we hit play now and then we hit the start button oh sorry about that um we now don't need the camera on this car here we're gonna delete this camera and just have the camera controller here so now we go and hit play and then when we hit start and then get it out now you can see now we've got a race going on here so the ai car is moving on its own and we are following it we kind of went wide there it's actually holding up a pretty good fight against this car the ai car we're gonna turn and try uh forgive my driving you guys can do better wow the ai car is really holding its own against this car i didn't think it would hold its own that much but that's impressive all right let's try and win this race it's beating me on the turns because it's well it's programmed to not make any mistakes all right so you can see that our little race is working now you saw the a the the canvas this is when i'm gonna talk about the canvas so we've got the ui canvas here uh what we have under the ui canvas when we come here remember i told you about the canvas everything that appears in the canvas is what we see there so we've got our little speedometer here and uh uh this meter here then we've got the start and the gears and the steering so now we don't need a lot of this stuff what we need is this so what we're gonna do is come to the dashboard canvas here uh we don't need the input panel yep we don't need that we need the dashboard we don't need the aids panel and uh, ignition key we don't need that so we're gonna leave that and then we're also gonna take out this here because we don't need that as well the, uh, the help so just turn it off uh, i meant the whole thing just turn it off yes that so what we just have is that good okay so now when we go to our player car now uh the the two cars were racing and that's some good progress right there but we still need more stuff here so we need like to create some ui elements to show our positions and stuff like that but yeah this is some good progress we've made in this one here so uh in the next one we're gonna do some more environmental work to get this looking like a truck before we you know um before we add some uh more some more stuff to read like some roads some beautiful scenery we just want it to look like a truck but right now uh the car the ra our race car is uh, racing against the ai car and to show this let's just do one more thing let's just do one more thing let's create a um, 3d object we're gonna use a cylinder yes let's place this cylinder here right well no mm, let's move it down to the ground down you go there we go I'll move it this way and place it somewhere there then on on the height let's make it five five would five be good drag it up let's see how it looks okay maybe seven maybe seven and then drag it up that's more like it duplicate that and then we're gonna take it the other side all right nice 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 so i'm gonna create an empty object again and then name it um finish line uh finish line enter 
we, we don't have any script attached to this yet, but it is the finish line. So we're gonna, we're gonna drag these two cylinders under the finish line. Then we're gonna place a flag over here uh, sometime down. Uh, de uh, we, when we are developing sometime down the road, we're gonna place a flag there. For now, we're gonna leave it like that. That way we know that, okay, we've crossed the finish line and that's where the lap starts. So now, when we start our car, don't mind this. Um, I'm gonna show you how to remove this thing on the top left in the next episode for now. Just concentrate on enjoying the progress you've made. So here we go. This time we are winning the race. We are winning the race this time and that's good. Oh man. All right, so there we go. We've got a race going on. We just have now to add more mechanics to it so that it can actually be a race. But this is a good start for, to for tomorrow or the other day. I think it's, let's say, I'm gonna probably re release an episode tomorrow. So we're gonna deal with uh, getting cars imported and then we're gonna change the look of this car and give it a much better look. We're gonna keep this car the way it is, or we might also change it to a car of our own choice. Then we're gonna add as well as the flag and also some scenery. So tomorrow is just about improving the look of the game. All right, so this is where we're gonna end this one. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, uh, comment down below what you wanna see, how you want this series to progress, uh, tell me how your games are going, how you are, so if I can help you, I will, so tell me how your games are coming along. If you feel like showing me, you can just leave a link to one of your games that you've created following this series and I'll check it out. Then uh, if you're new, subscribe, turn on post notifications and I'll see you all in the next one.